do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos students in this video we will discuss question number 5 neat physics paper 2016 students let us solve question number 5 the question says an inductor 20 millihenry a capacitor 50 microfarad and resistor 40 ohm this would be ohm this would be ohm 40 ohm are connected in series across the source of emf v equals to 10 sin 340t the power law in ac circuit is so what is the situation an inductor which is a coil a capacitor is a parallel plate capacitor and a resistor are in series they are connected in series with a emf emf and that is v equals to 10 sin of 340t we know that uh, we can uh, write a general expression as uh, the emf of alternating source as v equals to v not sin omega t where this omega not is the peak value of the emf that is 10 here and omega the angular frequency is 340 so from here i can write omega is 340 here 340 and uh, this 10 is the volt uh, v not v not the maximum or uh, amplitude of the voltage is, is uh, 10 now this is uh, in hertz in one way it is the angular frequency now It obviously it will be s minus 1 because it has to be dimensionless now the power loss in the ac circuit is uh, here is lc and r circuit with volt is uh, is this we know that the power loss is uh, only occurring in the uh, resistive circuit and in l if you take l only l there is no power loss you take c also there is no power loss in lc there is no power loss the power is lost only in case of a resistor in the form of heat so the power loss can be found using the formula power loss equals to i square r so r is taken not the impedance i is i r m s square to r z is never taken that you have to remember you cannot take z because uh, power is lost the heat is produced only in the resistor i rms can be written as v rms because uh, v equals to i r in general and uh, in lc circuit this is v equals to i into z i will be v upon z squaring both sides it is v rms over z the square only this expression is squared both sides i rms is v rms by z so this is the power loss that we have to find to find this we have to find z r is given as 40 this is 40 ohm this is uh, 50 microfarad and this is uh, 20 milli henry so if i want to find uh, this i have to first find z because r is given and v rm is also given because uh, v not is uh, root 2 times v rm s so from here v rm s is v not divided by root 2 so in this situation in this case uh, so i write that only here v not by root 2 square 
so it is v naught square by 2 z square into r where z stands for the impedance of circuit so this is 10 given the quotient this is 10 and uh, this is r r is 40 so this this one is 10 into 10 that is 100 into 40 that is 4000 here divided by 2 it is 2000 so i'll just put that here so this is 10 square 100 into r is 40 divided by 2 times z square so it is uh, 2000 divided by z square so as i will put the value of z square i'll get the answer for oh, 2000 upon z square power loss is uh, 2000 divided by z square how to find z so z is r square plus xl minus xc the whole square and the root if i take z square it will be like this now what is the value of uh, these values i have to put to find this i do i know this is uh, 40 so it is 40 square plus xl i don't know i have to find those values xl is uh, uh how much it is given xl is omega l so omega is given as 340 in the question that i discussed here you can see that omega is 340 so it's 340 into l that is the inductance which is 20 milli henry so it's 20 minus 3 and uh, that is how it's the uh, uh, resistance coming out Inductive reactance is this, which is uh, 2, 1, 2, and minus 1 is left. So it is uh, 68 by 10, which is 6.8 ohm. So it is 6.8 ohm comes out to be. And what about omega C? So this comes out to be 6.8 minus this value i have to find out and that x c is formula one over omega c which is one over 340 because that omega is there into c capacitance and the capacitance is uh, 50 microfarad so it is 50 10 to the power minus 6 because it is micro and uh, this whole thing is in will be in resistance form so it is uh, ohm. and uh, this is uh, 500 if I multiply 2 then this is 2 divided by 34 and it's thousands so minus 6 so 10 to the power 3 will go up it's 2000 divided by 34 so if we divide it 2000 by 34 I'll just use the calculator to find that. Uh, this comes out to be 58.8. This comes out to be 58.8. Okay, so 58.8 ohm. So right here, 58.8 ohm square. So z square from here I'll get. I'll just use that value z square is r square plus xl minus xe the whole square which is uh, 40 square plus this is coming out to be 6.8 and that is coming out to be 58.8 the square if i go for the calculation this comes out to be 4304 square so i'll take uh, uh, this value uh, is in ohm square this will be in ohm square so 
the power loss is uh, 2000 over z square was the formula that we discussed time here so if i put that it will be 2000 divided by 4304 if i put those values here so this 4000 is 2000 if i take 4000 it will be nearly 0 0.5 if I take 4000, it will be 0 0.5, but it is uh, a little less than 0 0.5, but the answer, it, we might get here 0 0.8, uh, 4, 7 or 4, 8, something like that, this much of power in what? If I go for the actual calculations then that, then uh, the answer will be 0 0.51. So it's nearly equal to 0 0.5 watt wet. This is the answer to this question. That is, this is the right answer. In fact, uh, you can use the calculator at home to check uh, this is coming out or not. But this is how it is done. The answer is 0 0.51 watt. Okay, thank you.